finish that you can enjoy for years to come. The smooth, glossy white finish dries hard, making it the perfect surface for all your dry erase marker messages. With minimal odor and easy application, specialty dry erase paint is ideal for indoor applications. Before you begin, be sure to read all directions thoroughly. To get started, prepare your work area. Thoroughly clean the area with soap and water. Rinse and let dry. Use painter's tape to mask your coverage area before moving on to the next step. If you're applying dry erase paint to a drywall surface that is already painted in a light color, primer is not needed. To cover darker surfaces and bare surfaces, we strongly recommend using a primer to ensure superior adhesion and coverage. If a primer is used, be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. For bare wood, sand lightly to smooth out the surface after priming. Now you're ready to paint. Begin by stirring part A and part B separately before mixing. Next, pour part A into part B and stir thoroughly until paint is uniform in color. Once mixed, it is important to begin applying dry erase paint immediately so it can be fully applied within one hour of mixing. After pouring the paint into a tray, use a dense foam roller designed to give a smooth finish. For smaller surfaces, you can use a foam brush. For best results, apply a minimum of two coats to light-colored surfaces and three coats to darker surfaces. Allow 10 to 15 minutes between coats. Your surface will be dry to the touch in about an hour. Once dry, remove any painter's tape. Give your dry erase surface at least three days to cure before writing or erasing for the first time. It's that simple. Now you're ready to enjoy your new writable erasable surface. When fully cured, dry erase markers may be applied to the surface and then wiped off with an eraser or lint-free cloth. If marks are left behind,